Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today it's Tuesday, you know what that means. Time for some news, so let's go right here. Let's see exactly what there is. You know what, let's just go like this because it's going to be a little bit easier. So, number one, we're going to go right here, Sworn. Sworn of the Fallen Iceberg, you guys are going to have a chance to get a 5 star select summon ticket right here. A new quest awaits. A familiar foe has appeared. Will be available in the fight to fight in the dimensional vortex inside the chamber of the in indignant. Alright, so a formidable enemy skilled at using powerful ice, water, and wind magic attack. The glacial. This thing is back, so let's see what little Koopo has to say about that. So the glacial casts a reflecting effect on itself and its gl glacons before bouncing magic off. Uh, off of them so your party will be hit for each one on the field Koopo if the glacial's HP falls below a certain point with enough glass on remaining the glass on will merge into a new enemy so failing to reduce their number is highly dangerous Koopo so make sure you're gonna kill a little bit of the little glass ons around them or else they're gonna fuse together like Vegeta and uh, Goku and basically create Gogeta uh, without without actually having Gogeta. So the glass shield can inflict stop, so don't forget to prepare countermeasures for stop. So make sure you guys bring some stop resistance. Initial completion reward, we get 100 Lapis. This one's actually pretty cool. Complete the quest, we get the Quicksilver. Uh, it's a gun, attack 172, magic 80. Enable Silver Bullet, and the Silver Bullet boosts physical and magic damage against demons. Uh, Man, I'm just thinking about Veritas of the Light with this, but also you guys can use this on Regina because if you're fighting something that's demon, well, she could do a little bit of extra damage with this. Also, mission completion reward, evoke an Esper two times or more, you get a 10% Moogle. Deal lightning damage to an enemy, you get uh, 50 trust coins. Thank you very much. Bring it to a 100, Gumi. 100 bring this to 100 then defeat two Glacian sculptures with a limit burst you get a five star select summon ticket right that's number one number two short story so they're gonna be they're bringing more of those and I actually really like those because uh, it you know it gives a little bit more background on the the story characters and on the characters themselves so basically it starts uh, short stories for Reagan and uh, his son rain which is gonna be really really nice uh, it says here, yeah, clear each character's stories to unlock new abilities, uh, available after maintenance on Thursday the 8th. So, Awaken Rain, when you finish is a short story, you're gonna get Octad Protection, which basically boosts fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, earth, light, and dark resistance by 10%, which is really, really nice indeed. Then Reagan's story, uh, run in with the future, you're gonna get dual blade, it's gonna be an ability that's already gonna be on the character. So guys, you don't need to equip this, this is gonna be unlocked on the character when you finish the, sh the short story. Increase damage limit for various chains when armed with two one and weapons, so I guess it's probably gonna change uh, the damage variance on some of the chaining moves like Divine Renation and uh, Absolute, Mirror Absolute Mirror of Equity. Equity. Then, uh, unlock conditions, you have to clear the Abyss Chaos, Chaotic Darkness first, and then you're going to be able to do in the go into the short stories and basically do the short stories for the new characters. Well, for Awakened Rain and for Reagan. Then that's really, really cool. Then we're going to get the Exchange Shop. Obviously, with a new banner always comes this, so you guys are going to are gonna be able to exchange the coins that you get from doing step-up summons. Basically exchange them for further things inside that little shop that you're going to get there. Then, still Castle Malfica is coming back. And guys, if you have some weapons, now is the time. Because basically all weapons are going to be unlocked. You're going to be able to get the, um, I want to say level 4 for any single weapon. So now is the time to farm for those weapons. Make those rods, those swords, those great swords, whatever you're using, a little bit stronger right here. So still Castle Malfica will be up on friday the 9th so you guys can start farming and it's going to go all the way up to friday the 16th i seriously wish they would have left it for a little bit longer maybe two weeks because last time they brought the steel castle Melfica with the bug that whenever you would click home it would just lag out the game and you had to close the app and reopen the app but uh yeah you know one week it's going to give you enough time to farm so make sure you farm the stuff that you actually need don't waste your orbs on weapons that you don't need so make sure you farm the right stuff, guys. Then, the Gra uh, the Gra Gapra Whitewood Exploration will be available on Friday also. The Aster Protoflorian. This is what you're going to be able to fight in the exploration. So, again, 
Little Mug, what do you have to say about that? Prepare countermeasures for physical and magic attack that hit the entire party. Kupo, you can inflict more damage by reducing the Asper, the Aster, we're just going to call it the Aster, uh, defense and spirit. So you're going to be able to break the defense and spirit, which is really, really nice. Beware, as the Aster will boost its fire, ice, lightning, or water resistance every single turn. So every single turn, it's going to be boosting one of those elements. You don't know which one, but he's going to be boosting one of those elements. There's probably going to be a pattern around that. So let's see what we get. Uh, initial completion reward, we get a 5% Moogle. Yes, please, because we need those TMRs. Uh, complete the quest. Tungsten Bangle, it's an accessory FF13. Uh, HP 30%, which is really, really nice. Enables Tungsten Bangle. Boost attack and magic when HP falls below a certain point. All right, not bad. I really like it just for the HP 30%, which is really, really nice. Evoke an Esper. You're going to get critted chips, 10,000 of those. Deal light damage two times or more to an enemy. Uh, you get light resistance, 20%. But it's funny how they put wind resistance right here. I don't know if uh, it's they, they wanted to put wind resistance or light resistance but whatever light resistance 20 percent uh this is green but it doesn't matter it's, pro it's probably going to be light then defeat the aster with a limit burst you get another five percent moogle and obviously you guys can bring these characters right here maybe not these two maybe this one back not this one but these three maybe you can bring these three and make a cool party to fight the aster so let's see what we have more we're gonna get the trial marathon so trial marathon road through l uh, challenge family of foes, uh, foes once again. So, uh, right here. Five selected trials will be made available again in the trial marathon through the course of the week with one different trial unlock each day starting from Friday the 9th. A trial will not be closed when a different trial opens the following day. Once unlocked, all trials will be available between Tuesday the 13th and Friday the 16th before the trials will be closed once more. Players, that's really important. Players who have cleared the trials before will be available to get rewards from the challenging the trials again. So if you clear the trials again, you're going to be able to uh, get some stuff again. You're going to be able to get some rewards from challenging the trials again, but it's going to be different rewards. All right. Event currency will be replaced with Gil Snapper family. So a little bit more money. It's not that bad. So number one, uh, day one, you're going to be able to fight Vision of Bahamut trial. This one was actually really, really tricky. But now we have super strong units, guys. If you have a good AoE cover, uh, magic cover tank, this is going to be super easy. Day two, the Psycho Clown. So you guys are going to be able to fight Kefka. On day three, Final Fantasy XII, the Ambitious Engineer and the Darkening Cloud. This one was actually not that bad. Uh, num uh, number four, we're going to be able to fight, it's funny enough, Kane from Final Fantasy IV. And number five, again, Asiko. I'm tired of seeing this girl. I'm fed up of seeing this girl. But she's going to be there again on day five. So you guys, every single day, you're going to have one boss to fight. And uh, we're going to be able to see what rewards do we get from there, which is really, really nice. And hopefully the next bosses are probably going to be harder. But these ones are not that bad. So if you are newer to the game, and you did not do this the first time, well, here's your chance to now do it. Then, we're going to go with the last one right here. Bam, bam, bam. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Anniversary Follow-Up 5-Star Guaranteed Type Summon. It's a lot of things to say. As a follow-up of our third year anniversary celebration, special 9 plus 2 type summons will, with specially selected 5-star pool yielding, at least one 5-star guaranteed unit and one 4-star plus unit are available during the event period. Not that bad. So limited to three players attack. We're going to have the physical and magic types. You guys will be able to summon for Medina, Queen, Naji, Carlet, Esther, Zeno of the Battlestar. Obviously the bigger one right here, Carlet, Esther, and Zeno of the Battlestar. So if you guys don't have them and you want to maybe risk some Lapis in here, go for it. But these three right here, Naji is not that bad since she's an hybrid damage dealer. But uh, the big money is right here, Carlet, Esther, and Zeno of the Battlestar. So if you guys don't have them, this is the big money. Then support, buffer and debuffer, Sylvie, Zargabat, Eurasia, Oron, Summit, Lid, and Fid, and Beowulf. Uh, I gotta say, this banner is actually really, really nice. Sylvie is really good, Zargabat is still really good, Eurasia is really good, uh, Oron as a, as a debuffer is really good. He can also chain and uh, do some really good debuffs. Summer, Fina, and Lid, they're not that bad, they're actually pretty nice, and Beowulf is actually a really strong breaker too. So that one's not bad. Healer and Summoner type. Let's see what they have here. Aerith, Folka, Ayaka, Rem, Yuna, and Aiko. Uh, to be honest, this is... If you don't have a healer, this banner is amazing. 
because they're all really good. I still use Ico a lot. I don't have a second Yuna, but I wish I had one because the seven star is really interesting. Rem's really good. Ayaka is really, really good. Uh, Folka is really good, and Aerith is pretty strong. So this banner, if you guys don't have a good healer, this is going to be a good banner to summon on. And the last one, Tank, Physical and Magic, uh, 5 star again. Awaken Rain, Siege Art, Wilhelm, Mercenary Ramza, Bosch, and uh, Gladiolus. This one is not that bad. I would have liked to see maybe, uh, instead of Gla Gladiolus, maybe uh, CG Charlotte. But nonetheless, this banner is actually really, really nice. Mercenary Ramza is still really good as a tank. Uh, provoke tank if you awaken his abilities. Wilhelm, and I have nothing to say. This guy is super, super strong. Seedra is really good because he can break and also his diamond mage mitigation on his uh, LB, which is I think 45% is amazing. Awaken Rain, amazing uh, magic cover tank. And Bosch, you can, ma you can cover magic and physical and he's really, really cool character and a really good character. Gladiolus with the enhancements, the awakening abilities, is actually, it's actually a lot better too so these banners for me the most important ones maybe uh, this one's really worth it because of the of all the characters this one's really worth it too of all the characters uh just the this one if you get medina or queen uh, queen meh meh i wish they would put somebody else here but you know what it's still good it's still good so that's gonna be there if you guys want to summon you guys can feel free to do so also i have nothing else to say <laughs> so guys if you are new to this channel, please leave a like on this video, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.